And we're back with some more oxygen not included. And today, today we're finally going to kill this magma biome. We're going to try and dump some nuclear waste on it, use uh, the heat deletion things with nuclear waste to try and get rid of it all, and hopefully do it in a way that kind of works this time. I'm thinking a much taller tower so that we can condense the nuclear waste somewhere near the top up here. And along the edges, actually, you know what? Let's just start building it and see what way it shapes up as we go. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a little weird looking, but this uh, there's method to this, I swear. Um, what we want to do here is run a bunch of cooling loops through here to cool down some nuclear waste. Because we're going to pour nuclear waste in here, the nuclear waste is going to fall to the bottom, get really hot, turn into gas, float up to the top, we're going to chill it down, and then it's going to fall back down again. And we're going to use that weird glitch where... not glitch, uh, the benefit of nuclear waste is when it turns into a gas, it has an awful lot less specific heat capacity. And then on its way, drifting back up here to the top, we're going to try and siphon a bunch of that heat into steam turbines to cool it down so it shouldn't be more than 125 or 150 degrees by the time it gets to the top, making it really easy to cool it down the rest of the way. Then we cool it below 20, 30, well, 20 degrees. We'll probably make it minus 50 or minus 100 or something like that. And then that'll turn into a liquid or even a solid and then drop all the way back down again to do the same thing again and again. Uh, that should, in theory, allow us to cool this really rapidly. However, we're going to need a lot of power. We're also going to need a lot of aqua tuners. Um, in fact, let's make those aqua tuners out of something a little robust. We do have an awful lot of thermium, so I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five. Yes, oh, and that's got to go so people can get in and out. That should be plenty. Now, this one here is actually going to be separate from these four. These four are going to cool down the nuclear waste. This one is going to cool down all the steam turbines. Uh, one enough? You know what? We'll leave it at one. If we need more, we can always rip things open and start placing in more aqua tuners. But I think that should be sufficient. Ooh, and I'm gonna need to start building the cooling loops as well. Give me one second. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. I should put in the, uh, the radiant pipes here. So, these things are all going to be little self-contained cooling loops. Yeah, that looks just about perfect. We're going to have to fill these all up with super coolant, though. Uh, this is going to get sealed up here. This is going to get sealed up here. But we're leaving them open for the moment for access. And then we're going to have some... Well, so this will rotate the super coolant around. We just have to put it in the automation for that. This will rotate super coolant around to actually chill down all of the steam turbines all running off this one aqua tuner here. Uh, it'll be a while before that's up and running. And then automation-wise, we're probably going to want to go under plumbing, grab ourselves one of those liquid pipe thermal sensors, make everything out of niobium because that's just how we roll down here. And then put those every single piece along the way. Done. And oh, automation wires, this, that, and the other. Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Assuming we get this working correctly, which is the hope here, we're going to need to put some water in here. So I'm thinking we can't actually do that with those things. That, well, we could use pumps and stuff, but that's too much effort. Instead, we're just going to use a few bottle emptiers. Much simpler. Of course, we have to deconstruct and reconstruct the uh, steam turbines, but that shouldn't take too long. Oh, and we're trying to square things off down here and expand out as much as we can, get rid of as much empty space. We want to make sure that when we drop this nuclear waste down here, it has a long way to drop. And we get plenty of room for it to exchange temperature and hopefully access to more magma to cool down more of it. Oh, and maybe, yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can't tighten this off. In fact, I wonder if we could maybe get a pinch off a bunch of this before we uh, we start this. Ooh, yeah, we could... We can definitely squeeze out a little bit more space down there. I would really like to rip all of this out before we go, though. Actually, and looking at this, if we could break this open, it would free up this magma here to pour down. So I'm thinking we might dig in here, dig diagonally up through there, cut that, sever that there, and then back off again. In theory. Uh, we'll give that a minute, though. First, I want to start putting in the water here. We're going to need a little bit of water in these sections, and yeah, I think we're just about ready to get started on that. We've got all of the water installed, so everything should 
cool down enough. We still have not uh, sealed in this side, but that's okay. We still got to do a bit of work in here. I'm going to try and get up here and crack this open. I don't think I can, but I'd like to at least give it an attempt and hopefully not flood this place with magma. That would be really inconvenient, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Anyway, uh, over here, we're going to pump in some super coolant. Super coolant goes in there. That super coolant is going to go across this line. Uh, that line will come down here and we're going to feed it onto all of our cooling loops. So we got four cooling loops. This is going to pop down over here. And when it's finished one cooling loop, it goes on to the next. But I think that should be fine. I just want to make sure none of these are going to jam. All right, and once that's done, oh, yeah, we're going to have to see about that thing over there. But it's fine. It's fine. We will might be able to do something there over there. If we can't, it's okay. We can just seal it back up again and move on. We've got quite a few bits and pieces done. Uh, over here, I wasn't able to figure out some way of getting those bricks in there. We, it's an unreachable build, so instead we're just going to sort of... YOLO it a little bit. We're going to have someone run in. They're going to dig it out and then pass through the door. And why is that unreachable? You guys not get up and down through that door? Hmm. I may have to rethink this. For example, if we put the door that... That might change it. Turns out the reason they couldn't get up there was... Uh, no ladder segment. They were standing down here and they couldn't reach that to dig it. But... Okay. Now run. Like really fast. Nope. It's yep, 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 yep. And it's a little bit toasty, but that's fine. Now the door's gonna close behind you. Perfect! Uh, passing up to this door is not permitted or down. Just stay there. Right. That worked out pretty okay. I mean, okay, now that magma from up here should be able to flow down into this section. Uh, not that it might need it, but if it does, I would prefer to have that done now. Anyway, let's uh, just... Actually, we don't need to do too... We can just brick that up there. That's all we need to do. We can clean out the rest of that later. Okay. What's missing? Oh, yeah, we do need a... We've put some petroleum here on top of all of these uh, steam turbines so that they can get the... So the cooling loop passing through them can actually interact with them. Some people like to use those new things. What are they called? Conduction panels. I find they don't provide enough transfer, enough temperature, especially for something as uh, chunky as steam turbines. Steam turbines just... They require a lot of cooling. Might work, but eh, petroleum's an old reliable. All right, how are we doing up here? In fact, I think I'll put 400 kilos of petroleum up here just to make sure these are fully saturated, but that should make sure none of these heat up too much as well. And then after that... Actually, this is all done, is it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, we're going to hook that up to there, deconstruct a few pipe segments. This is where we're going to bring in the nuclear waste and start dumping down here. But before we do that, I would like to see how much of this we could core out. We want as much magma at the base of this as humanly possible. Uh, give me a few more minutes. It's now time for the tricky, tricky bits. Uh, yeah, before we activate this, we need to dig out down here. Grumpy Bear has just woken up. Uh, Grumpy Bear's our best digger. We're gonna need him. Uh, I think we start here. We take out those two pieces. Uh, let's make those high priority, thank you very much. Then we're probably gonna dig across here. Uh, kind of go back along to this section and then probably dig that all the way back up. What we want to do is take out everything from there to there-ish, roughly. We're going to take about that. We want to maximize our potential cooling. If we could get down there and clear out those, that would be nice, but uh, I don't think that's possible. There's just no way of getting in there without getting magma all over our duplicates, and that stuff does not wash out. So, let's get our, uh, let's get Boyger down here and let's clear this out as best we can. Hey, right, buddy, off you go. Uh, next step is going to be that one. That's Lushy. D don't be clapping. Yeah, I know you're happy that this is going on. Absolute nut jobs. Okay, uh, I think I need to get you out of here before we start the next segment. Uh, you want to take that thing out. Okay, Lushy, come on. Escape. Yep. No. Stop. Ugh. They keep stopping to clap, and it's like, why? Why are you doing this? Okay. Come on, grab that last bit. There you go. And uh, those two need to go as well. Oh, this is actually going a lot better than I thought. Uh, that can go. Don't don't stand on it. You're making me nervous. If any of you fall in there, I'm going to be very irritable. All right, that's fine. Then we can get those. This is turning out far better than I had ever hoped. So far, that magma is actually dipping down there, which makes our lives an awful lot simpler. Back. Let's see if we can't grab those two while we're here. Oh, that is. Yep, that is totally worth it. Uh, can you grab that one? Oh, you totally can. 
All right, next step, we'll grab those two. And we're going to slowly dig our way back out of here. Yeah, get, get, go on, get up, get up, get up. Perfect. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Then those three tiles can go. Then I thinking, yeah, this one's got to go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that is beautiful. We'll let you run away a little bit. Why do you stop that lap so much? I... Mm. Yep, looks like Lushy's thinking about going to lunch. Sorry, but... Uh, okay, I think we're good on a few fronts. So, get it all. Lushy, Lushy. Yeah, there you go. It just stop standing in the magma when you get a chance, guys. That would be great. Why? Why clap so much? Just, just stop clapping. Oh, right. Now, I think our best bet is probably to start over here real quick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, unless she's not coming back, they're gone to lunch. Can't blame them. They served us well. Uh, grab all of that while you're here. Whew. It's not the most nerve-wracking, but I just really hate doing this. When you're playing around with magma, this, 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 just someone falls in, and next thing you know, you're down a duplicate. And we already lost one of our diggers. Matthew will be missed. Uh, grab those. Run. We're almost done. Whew, that worked out quite well. And I do like that magma's pouring down all the... Oh, yes. That... Totally worth it. Totally worth it. I regret nothing. All right, you guys, dig all of that out. Try not to stand on it when you're digging it, though. If any of you... Oh, no, there's a ladder back up. You'll just get a tiny bit scaldy, which won't be the worst thing in the world. Well, it won't bother me too much. I did everything I could to keep you out of there. Oh, okay. Lushy's the only one left. Uh, uh, come on. Game is uh, having a little bit of a lag problem here at this late stages. Might have something to do with. One second, are we done? I think. Yeah, I think we got as much as we were going to get. We could have went to, stayed here longer and chopped that out, but that seemed like an awful lot of effort. We'll wait until this magma pours down a bit and the pressure equalizes. I'd like to get this flattened across the top here, if at all possible, with just full of magma before we start pouring in the nuclear waste. In the meantime, let's have a quick check up on a, a few of the other places we've been working over recently. Our fish planet is doing, doing well. Uh, this year broke ages ago, but we're still pulling temperature out via these, uh, this metal spike. Probably should have put another one over here, but yeah, whatever, you live and you learn. This is slowly, slowly, slowly draining the heat out of here. Don't care. Yeah, we'll come back and fix it properly later. Ooh, what have we got in the gate? Anything? No, ice, who cares? We're up to 17,000 calories. Okay, I think I think we got enough fish. I've already turned off one of these. I think it's time we turn off another one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you know what? Let's turn these back. This, uh, well, turn them back on. What I'd done was I'd turned off the seeds here to stop these being fed. But I think all we'll do instead is just turn off where the eggs get dropped off. That means no more fresh eggs that get put in here. The breeding pools will shut down. No fresh fish will be installed. And eventually we'll stop producing... Ah, there's 20,000 calories just sitting there waiting for the tree to eat it. And we've already got 10 tons of resin and... Quite a little bit more down here. That's slowly going to fill up here. Uh, though I am kind of worried that the resin's going to freeze. You see, resin freezes at I think it's 20 degrees, is it? Yep, 20C, it freezes. We're cooling down this whole area to, well, below 20 degrees. I've set this to 15 degrees because the sheer quantity of fish being birthed is generating heat. So we're up to like 22, 21, 22, but that's fine. That's fine. As long as we stay below 25, the gulp fish won't die. And that's all we really care about. In fact, let's find a gulp fish somewhere. Or we could... Wow. There's 57 Paku, 11 Paku smaller, 18 Paku fry, 2 tropical ta Paku... Oh, there's 3 gulp fish. Hey, gulp fish. Good up until 25C, so perfect. The thing's stable. We could probably drop the temperature a bit more, but I think that's about fine for where we want it. I am kind of worried, though, that resin, as it starts to get higher, will freeze, but 
it gets up to that point and it starts freezing, we have... Yeah, it'll have succeeded quite well. All right, then. And, oh, fire planet. Everything's still going well? Yeah, no problem. 75 tons of niobium. Excellent. I'm thinking that's working out pretty good. And down here, we'll just have to wait until the magma catches back up. Uh, that could take a minute. This next bit, I admit, is stupefyingly dumb, but I'm still gonna do it. It's just an opportunity has sort of presented itself because of the way the magma has flowed out of there. What we can do is we can dig in here and basically excavate this entire area, drop all of that stuff down here, and then not have to worry about it. And we'll still have to worry about this side over here, which needs to be cooled down. There'll be a long amount of time before the temperature can get all the way over there. But being able to core out this whole area and just make it free it up, that would be quite nice to do just now, and we've already got all the vacuum stuff in place to do it with. So this should be quite straightforward, if a little nerve-wracking while we try not to let any of our duplicants fall into magma. Grumpy Bear has a 33 in excavation. Now true, 10 of that is coming from the Atmo suit, but still, 825% digging speed bonus, and it's still taking them forever to drill through this. Ah, uh, it is what it is, but seriously, it takes a long time to go through all of this, um, ah, obsidian. But I think we could just core all of this out, drop this down here, and then just, well, sort of seal off the top of it. I'd prefer that the nuclear waste didn't go up in here, because I'm pretty sure that's what I was worried about, is the gases from the nuclear waste would go up in here and, well, then we'd never get them out again. So I want to be a little bit more cautious about where we dump all that stuff. Finally, finally we're ready. Uh, we seal this in across the top with some niobium tiles, so that none of the nuclear waste can escape in there. There's, okay, there's a little bit of magma on top, but that's fine. That'll dissipate with time. And if you ever want to break back in there, we can, and we can drop all of that hot stuff down on top of that, well, hot plate. Uh, there was a few minor complications. Uh, nothing too crazy. Everyone should be fine in no time at all. Uh, probably, yeah probably shouldn't have had them run into the magma to build those niobium tiles, but in my defense, I thought they couldn't get through here because, ah, uh, never mind, I'd severed ladder segments, but I'd left a block where I shouldn't have. But I think we're ready to go. It's time to start dumping in the nuclear waste. I think we'll start with about, ooh, a couple of tons, and then see where it goes from there. Here they come. Uh, that's 200 kilos. Uh, that's going to go into the pipes. Nice, then it's going to drop straight down here, get instantly scaldy. Uh, how far down, though, is it going to go is the question. Will the liquid immediately flash the moment it touches the magma, or will it actually drop all the way to the bottom? Oh no, it's going all the way down. Oh, that's interesting. It's, of course, scaldingly hot. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's, um... That's pretty cool. I want a screenshot of that. That is, that is a thumbnail right there. It does look rather beautiful. That is... Wildly hypnotic. Uh, so we've got 400 kilo... You know what? It needs to keep going, though. We want that nuclear waste to make it all the way to the top. Uh, right now, it seems to be running into our temperature shift plates and condensing. Oh, there's not nearly enough just yet. And up. Uh, uh, that's what I was afraid of. See, if I didn't brick that in there, I was worried that the nuclear waste would go up there. Oh my god. Is that magma dropping... Just rapidly, or is it just me? Wow, it's plummeting. That is, like, it used to be up to here. I was worried about it touching the metal tiles up here, and now it's just... This works. All right, then. And we haven't even put in that much nuclear waste yet. Let's wait until we get a few tons in there. It's quite effective, I will admit. I was I was expecting it to be decent, but I wasn't expecting it to be this good. We have l just mauled all of this. How many cycles has it even been? I need to check the, the le records. Three cycles. It's been three cycles or less since this thing started up, and it's already eaten magma uh, from about there to there. That is a just stupendous amount. Whatever's happening with these droplets, they cause compression. You can see the magma there. It's compressed up to 4,000 kilos. That shouldn't happen. So what it's doing is it's pushing the magma up here, and this magma's 
coming over the side and then pushing it round and round and round, sort of an Escher waterfall. That's why you're seeing these occasional big bursts of magma shooting out as pressure gets relieved. That's why you're getting all this pressure damage over here. It's of 2,600 kilos, so it's actually pushing up against this and it's destroying the obsidian as it goes. So as the liquid flows down, it's causing damage to everything, which is why the only things that are really surviving are ones... Okay, they shouldn't have survived, they should have been destroyed. But a whole bunch of stuff here that was in the way got pushed out of the way and destroyed. And this section here got mauled. It has to be at least three tiles thick to survive. So, ooh. I should really be more careful over here. Um, you should put some ladders down there, and we might want to double wall that section just to be on the safe side. Temperature-wise, like this stuff's gone down to 1,200 degrees, but most of this stuff hasn't really noticed. I mean, there's loads of... Oh, wow, there's actually quite a few tons of random junk lying around the place, but we'll worry about that later. For now, I think we can call this successful experiment. We're going to want to let this run for, well, about 50 or 100 cycles. I don't know how it's going to affect the temperatures over here. My plan was, uh, no idea how viable it is, let this run for a while until the temperature in here gets so low that it can't make the nuclear fallout flash into, well, or it can't make the nuclear waste flash into fallout. That only happens at, have we got any drops? Yep, there's a drop of nuclear waste right there. That happens at 526.9 degrees. If the temperature in here goes below that, the nuclear waste will just sit on top. It will no longer float up to the top and we'll just stay there so that should theoretically stabilize at some point oh is that a uh, 11 kilos of nuclear fallout you need to get out there i have been constantly dumping in nuclear waste since this started that's all we've been doing we've been chucking it in and still the pressure in here has not reached even a kilo i i don't know if that's it's working really well like these these ac these aqua tuners are not turning on if we check the look at this two percent this cycle uh zero percent zero point three percent in the last five cycles so all of these are barely being touched at all and this thing is just getting demolished i'm not sure if it's actually killing it or it's just compressing it yeah, i suppose we'll find out over in a long enough period i'll attach the save game file to the video so actually i'll attach the save game file from before we start this up so if you want to play around with it yourself or do some time lapses go knock yourselves out have some fun uh i think i'm gonna play around with this and maybe run this two or three times Maybe get my own time lapses. This should be an interesting little thing to play around with. And plus, it's the green color, you know? It's like the color of Ireland. It's, and it's also really nice and glowy. Ooh, what's the radiation like in there? That's... That's it? Point one to... Oh my god, it's tiny. There's only, like, minuscule amounts of radiation. That feels so wrong. There's eight kilos of nuclear fallout there, and... Uh, it is what it is. It, it's the physics of Ani. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.